Not a performance video, you must be in the wrong channel. Just kidding, I'm back, how the f are we doing? I'm back, Halloween is over. I finally got time to sit down and do some stuff with you now. So, today, if you didn't already know, October is my birthday month. And so, Give Face Cosmetics, you know, the ones that I did a little review for a little while ago, love this Go back and watch that video, I'll link it on one of the cards up here. They said to me, oh, we've got a new range of liquid lipsticks coming out, you'll love them. We'll send you some. As a birthday present. I was like, thanks, babes. So, cut to now. They've arrived. Their little cheeky darlings made a girl very happy. They didn't just send me liquid lipsticks. They sent me some new highlighters. They sent me some new glitters. I've even got a little thing of their new little skincare range as well. So, if you want to see the best budget liquid lipsticks that money can buy, Keep on watching because we're going to go through all the new range right now. Today I've actually got two of them on and what is my hair doing? And I'll get to what colours they are when we get to them. But what I'm going to try and do is swatch them all on my hand as we go and then that way you can get a bit of a feel for them. Now, they're not matte liquid lipsticks. They're not like the Jeffree Star Velour liquid lipsticks or the Lion Crime Velveteens. They're not like that. They don't dry down completely matte. I would compare them slightly more to the NYX Liquid Suede in the sense that it doesn't... You know, you're not going to take a bite of food and it's gone. However, it will transfer. If you go and smooch someone, it's going to get all down your chin, basically. So, keep your lips to yourselves, ladies, because that ain't going to be cute. So, we have got... Let me count them up. We have got... Three... Six and eight. We've got eight of their new shades. So one by one, we will go through and swatch them and I will give you my thoughts on each of them. First up, we have Cortesium, Cortesium, I don't know, the red one. So I'm gonna open it up and they're all metallic as well and they are stunning. So I'm just gonna do a little swatch down my hand, big enough so you can see it. So do bear with me just a second and the thing that I've found immediately off the bat with these, they're not, don't get me wrong, they're extremely f***ing pigmented for what I would consider a gloss or a liquid lipstick. Um, they are extremely pigmented, but what I have found is you do have to sort of not layer them up, because if you layer them up too much, they'll bleed. They're very similar to the OCC lip tars in that sense, but you have to sort of vanesse and move around the colour until which time it's even. That's not a bad thing. Um, so here we have the red. Cortesian and it is a camera's not focusing a nice little red metallic moment love that and I know Rachel's gonna love that one that one goes on perfectly opaque you don't really have to finesse that one I found it more with the darker and the more extreme colors but I'll show you sort of as we go on because you know me we like a nice completely honest review so I'm gonna get in a little bit closer so we can get a bit more in close and personal role play Dirty Denise said this would be one of my favourites, I think, when they were first sort of developing them. So and I'm just going to do a little swatch of role play. So this is role play. Again, a gorgeous metallic purple colour. And it's got the same sort of level of opacity. This one, again, needs a bit of vanessing to get completely opaque. But as you can see on my lips, my lips are covered in them. My lips are completely opaque. You can't see a bit of pink. And I've got quite pink lips, naturally. Don't have a problem with that one. One of my favourites. And I love it. And I'm probably going to get a hell of a lot of use out of that one. Just saying. We will go with the greens and the blues. So we have this, which is Castaway. And it's like a mermaidy sort of toned colour like a turquoise, and this is nice because you don't see turquoise lips too often. So this is Castaway. This one goes on a dream. This one does not really need vanessing to build up the colour. And as you can see, they're pretty true to colour as to what's in the tube. And it is a gorgeous turquoise. Again, nice and metallic, nice and bright, really bold statement colour, that one. This one, which is androgynous. This is a really interesting colour, and I really, really like this one. It's not a grey, it's not a black, it's not a blue and it's not a silver. It's sort of a mixture. This one does need a little bit of finessing just to get opaque but again it's a darker colour and a lot of darker colours need that with any brand. So here we are. Here's Androgynous just here. As you can see it's almost, it's a bit it was strange. I can see the Tin Man wearing it but again it matches up to the part of all of the others so far. So, living for that one. Not used it yet. 
So the two that are on my lips, I have unusual and curious on my lips. So I will swatch them one at a time. This is the closest that they sent me to a black, but it's not quite gray, it's not quite black, but it's just dark enough that I can line my lips with a black lip liner and use this in the middle when it still gives them that sort of pouty look. So it looks black on camera, but it's off black. It's not quite a black. And as you can see, it's almost got like a blue reflective quality to it, which is what inspired me to then pop Curious over the top. Now, Curious is up there again with one of my favorite colors. I've got a similar matte color to this from NYX called Jet Set. But this one, I think, just tops it off because of the metallic quality to it. This one's got so much pigment in it, it's unreal. There we go, so I've mixed those two together on my lips today. Let's zoom you in. And as you can see, it sort of adds to the, I've just put the blue in the center and it just sort of adds that little bit of extra something to the look and I really like it. We have Facade. This is an interesting one. I've not seen a lip color that's like this. I've got a um, metallic body painting powder that's similar to this, but it's almost like a bronze which is that one there. This one's super duper opaque as well. This one doesn't really need finessing. And it's just an interesting color. It's like a, almost a chestnut. You don't really see that very often. Um, and I think it's nice because it's unique and it's a plus thumbs up for that one. I'm gonna have to play with that one. Finally, I've left the most interesting color till last. This is almost like a duochrome. I don't know if you can really see, you can't really see it in the tube, but I can see it here. This is called Bittersweet. Now, obviously, first thoughts, you're gonna think it's a brown, right? This one does need quite a bit of building up, but once it's built up, it is the strangest, most interesting, gorgeous color. There we are in the end. And as you can see, similarly to um, the black one, it's got almost a green tinge to it. And I'm sure there was an eyeshadow that Rachel bought that's similar to this. I think it was from somewhere like Topshop. And I loved it. I now I've got it in a liquid lip form. Um, I feel like some people could have a lot of issues with this one. However, I'm up for the challenge because it's a challenging colour to pull off. But I'm going to see what I can do with this and see sort of what I can make with it. Because I feel like it could be really interesting. But overall, I'll show you them all once more. They are really, really nice liquid lip shades. Um, thank you, Gift Face Cosmetics, for sending me them. I adore Adore them all and even though they sent me them you know me you see my reviews before they're brutally honest so I haven't got a fault to give them um, I'm not gonna say that they need finessing's a fault because some of the Jeffree Star liquid lips need finessing and obviously you're paying twice as much for the Jeffree Star ones what the f is my hair doing love 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 those and these obviously aren't all the shades they've got these are just a sort of new range so get on the website have a little look because there's gonna, there's loads there's something for everyone on there and obviously i've got the strange colors but they're the colors that i type to wear but obviously this red wearable for anyone it's a bit of a different red really gift face minty skin and brush mix now what this is is it's I suppose you could class it as a setting spray i wouldn't use it as a setting spray only because i will either use urban decay's all nighter or got to be glued as setting spray because obviously I've got a lot, a lot of makeup on. So I would use this to spritz my brush when I'm using things like highlighters and pigment, duochrome, things like that. One of the new highlighters that they've sent me, I spritzed my brush. Now what I found with their highlighters, I love, love, love them. They're extremely powdery, being a loose pigment, obviously you can't really avoid that. But when you spritz your brush with this, however, perfect. They don't like powder everywhere so you don't look like you're in a crack den which is nice um especially when you get ready at other people's houses so this is going to come in handy i also sprayed this on my face first first thing in the morning when i woke up yesterday it was gorgeous because it's got that spearminty scent to it it's instantly refreshing almost feels cooling and just sort of a nice little spritz to wake yourself up hasn't broke me out either which is a plus because i have extremely extremely sensitive skin but we've got two of the other highlighters that I don't currently own. Now, what I've seen they've done is the previous highlighters that I got came in a pot like this. They're in bigger pots now. Love that idea. You're getting more for your buck. And obviously, your buck's low as it is when you're on there. So, 
I ain't complaining. Love, love, love that. So this is Tiff. Now, is the lighting going to play ball here? No. This is, it's almost got like a purpley, I'm going to have to swatch it. It's almost got like a purpley sort of look to it in the pan. And what I'll do, because the lighting's I will apply this wet, only because it's going to sort of show up more vibrantly. And it will make things easier to see. There we are. So as you can see, it's coming across a lot more silver on camera. But in person, it's got much more of a sort of a violet tone to it. That's one of the highlighters. Obviously, that's applied wet. However, that is some fucking blinding right there. And the one that I've got on today is the Vulcan Duo Chrome. So I'll just do another little swatch of that, because obviously I've not put it on heavy enough today to show you. So there's Vulcan just there. And what I love about Vulcan is where it's a duo comb, it goes on and it almost looks invisible. And then when it catches the light, you get this gorgeous purpley pink shine to it. And I think it's absolutely stunning. It is what I've got on my face today, but the lighting's not playing ball. It's winter. I'm using natural light. So. Sorry, I can't show it on my mug, but my fault for not applying it so heavy. I've been painting, obviously, not for camera lately, so... Getting back into the old painting for camera biz. Never mind, but there you go. You can see it on my arm just there. So there's the two highlighter shades that they sent me. Beautiful, love them. And I think Vulcan is gonna be my new number one because I absolutely adore it. I love it. Oh, well, one more highlighter. Sorry, Ellie. I believe this is, I don't wanna say it is because I'm not 100% sure. Is this named after Ellie Clark, this one? Is it Ellie Clark? I'm sure I named Ellie Clark. Bitch with a fierce ass makeup. That one. Let me show you Ellie quickly before I disappear. Here we have Ellie. And this one is a lot more, it would look gorgeous with this turquoise lip shade. It's like a turquoisey sort of highlighter, almost a green tinge to it. Different from the green highlighter that I've already got because that gives off more of a this type of green. However, this one is a lot more light and a lot more obviously wearable on the face. It doesn't really give you any comparison, but obviously these two are much more drag or extreme highlights and this one here, Vulcan, would look much, much nicer, subtled out. These ones are boom if you really want that oh, glow. Again, thank you so much for give, to Give Face for sending me this, for continuing to support my artistry and helping me grow. I really appreciate it. And obviously you guys are making hot products I'm gonna keep coming back so you ain't gonna stop having me tagging you in my photos because all the time you keep releasing hot stuff I'm gonna keep using it so once again if you haven't already go and check out Giftface Cosmetics it's so damn cheap and it's such high quality for the price I sound like a sales and they are not paying me to say this if they sent me it was shit, I'd tell them that as well I'd have probably sent Selma on it to tell them it but no, I've got not one bad word to say about them. Love, 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 love. All my face today is Give Face. All the powders, all the eyeshadows, everything. And these lashes are from Give Face as well. So yeah, it's sort of your number one stop for drag makeup if you are in the UK especially. So if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up. Leave a comment, have you tried any of the Give Face stuff yet? And if not, I wanna know why. If you can't afford it, I'll sort out a giveaway. Follow me over on Instagram. That'll probably be where any giveaways that I decide to have will happen. Um, follow me over on Instagram. That's where I'm most active at the moment because um, I'm working a bit more now. So that's sort of my main database to sort of get in contact with me if you want to chat or whatever. So get over on me at Instagram. All my links are in the down bar below. And take care. Stay spooky. I love the hell out of you guys. And until next week, I will see you all in my next video.